so we're done now with selecting our furniture so let's go back and select now our windows so make sure you are in the story tab again and then plan view zoom extent and then we will select now our window so let's review the window should be look like this okay we need to select as two square windows so let's go to the 3d go to this make sure you're still again in the construction tab construction tab and then select the one two three four tabs vertical the apertures and then from there you will select our windows so when you select uh, click the select tab you will have lots of options um, if you are using Evo for the first time, you will only have two, four, six, eight selections. But because I I used the Evo for so many so many times, so those previous windows and doors are now available in my selection because you can just edit it. So let's select now this um, window, the standard or the default one, and then the size here is 1.350 by one meter width. And the frame width is 1 point, uh, point 0.12 or 12 cm. And the seal height is 0 0.8. The seal height is the height of the window from the floor. So let's use the default 0 0.8. So just click this one, position active building opening. Click and then click. Another one, click and then click. So if you go to the 3D view, you will have now your two windows available all right so let's review now we have two windows I think we need to re uh, reduce the, f the frame width so to reduce the frame width select this one and make it as 0 0.05 now there's two let's make it 0 0.08 and select the other one again make it 0 0.08 the frame width so we just edit the frame width so we now have window so let's review we now have window and I mentioned to you last time that we put carpet on the manager's office so let's go and select the carpet and also let's make a wall um, the wall like uh, it has a color or a texture so let's go to our 3d and then go to the room or story tab either way but I prefer to go to the room so I can rotate it more and my view will be wider. And then I will... Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Let's go and select the door because you can also select the door. So let's go and select again this aperture and then select the door, uh, the door tab. And then you will have the size of the door which is 2 by 0 0.9. That is the default. You can widen that one if you like. But let's just use the 2 by 0 0.9. So select this one. And then click and now you will have your door here okay so let's go now to the room and put our lovely texture so last time I told you to put a carpet so we will now place our carpet in this room so go to the materials again click this tab and then press the select button go to the catalog and then materials catalog and go to the indoor because this is an indoor materials the textures are the materials from uh, from Evo so select the floor because it's a carpet and then there is a fitted carpet here and then let's select this one then again click apply now it's ready to use so just say apply material click the second one and then apply material now you can see that we have now carpet in our room and then let's make this one as let's review a brown color or a beige color wall so let's select this one again go to the color catalog and then let's select this uh, green beige or 101 beige and then apply and then apply the material one two if you want to continuously doing it press uh, press control click this one first apply material and then press control and then click and then click so it will be in one shot application you can also drag and drop for the whole for the whole 
wall, for example, I will pick this one again, just to copy it, drag and drop. So everything will be look like that. So again, let's undo it because we want a beige color wall. Okay, so I think it's ready now. Let's review. Now we have our beige wall, cabinet, furnitures. Oh, there's a laptop. So we need to put a laptop on the manager's table. So let's go to the object again, furniture and objects, then press select, then object catalogs, and then again to the objects, office furniture, pull down menu, and then for the, I think this is under auxiliary aids, and then electronics. Now I can find this laptop and then apply. Then go to the plan view and place individual object tab and then just drop it there. Go to the 3D and check if it's okay. Alright, so let's just rotate it a little. So it will be like this. Right click to move it. Then you can have your laptop properly located on the table. Alright, so I think the final touch will be on how to place the luminaire and the calculation surface and how to open this calculation results. Okay, our room now is ready to put our best luminaire. So make sure that you are connected to the internet. So let's now press Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. I will not promote our product, the Zoom to Bell, but let's try this one. So let's type zoomtobell.com and we will select our luminaire. There are so many ways on getting the luminaires. One is through the internet or by pressing the manufacturer tab here and then let's scroll this tab and you will see that there are lots of different brands available here in Deluxe Evo. So let's proceed to the zoom to well which is start with letter Z so it's at the end of this scroll and then press it click the tab and it will automatically automatically goes to the website of the zoomtobell.com when it's done go to the products and we will select the freestanding luminaire first let's review this one the freestanding luminaire so let's go back and select the product so to the categories go to the freestanding and wall mounted luminaire select this light fields evolution Select the Evolution Freestanding Luminaire and then select the 9840. The 9000 code means 9000 lumen, 840 means 80 CRI with 4000 Kelvin. So let's select this one and press the D. That D stands for Dialux. So if you press the D and you say Open, it will become then now ready for use. So let's go to the plan view and place our first luminaire. And then, now it's here, you may rotate it and aim it towards the table. Go to the 3D view and now we will have our first freestanding luminaire. So let's run and see how it looks like. Press this start calculation and see how this luminaire will affect the room. Okay, this is amazing. Look at the effect of this fitting. Looks good. And let's see what is the lux value. Press this tab on the corner, uppermost corner. And see this is now 200 lux on this surface. The one you can see right now, the yellow one, is the calculation surface. We can edit this one later on. Okay, so let's now review. I placed linear luminaire recess on the ceiling so let's proceed and select that one as well. So let's go back to the manu manufacturer tab, select the zoom to bell, you may use any other brand if you, if you like, go to the product tab, go to the recess luminaire and select the slot light infinity. And then you may choose the Slot Light Infinity Office. 
and then you may choose the 4000 Kelvin and from there we can choose different size and color here you can see the size of or the length of the fitting so let's choose the 2 meters this is 2, two meters by 0 0.72 by 1, 1.36 mm and then this is a CRI um, 80 and 4000 Kelvin and this one is 2800 lumen so let's select this one press D again and then it will automatically goes to your dialogs use once you click the open and now it's here it's available to use now so let's go back to our plan view and press instead of place individual luminaire select the draw line arrangement click this one and then press the first point to the edge of the wall and on the other side and you will say the result will become invalid say yes now the default is 3 so let's just make it 2 then it looks still still very long for for an office so let's just make it 1 or maybe we can just replace it with a shorter version of fitting okay so let's review and uh, see yeah I think we need to reduce the, the size the length of the fitting so let's go back to the manufacturer tab select the zoom to bell go to the product go to the recess luminaire go to the slot light infinity slot light office and let's select again the 4000 Kelvin for an office we selected 2 meters long now let's try to select this um, 1.75 meters so press D and they say open and then here now we installed or we placed the 2 meters long so just select this one either you created a line arrangement again this one like this like what we did before then make it 2 two pieces so it looks good or just click this one and say replace selected luminaire with the new one the 175 1.75 and say apply now it becomes 1.75 so you can just move this one to the other side and then place it like this and then move one fitting and make it connected to each other so it will be a continuous luminaire again right click then move it here so when you go to the 3d view you will have a continuous luminaire in your ceiling and if you want to have a precise location of your luminaire again use this um, help lines and create a, a reference line and then offset it with let's say 0 0.6 and then one piece and now you can um, place your luminaire like okay let's just make it 0.8 and then you can move your luminaire now to that 0.8 at the middle again you can just move your reference line to the other side and then move your luminaire again in the middle and then now you will have your proper location of recess luminaire on the ceiling so let's run it and see how it looks like okay so now you can see here that we have 481 lux result in our calculation surface for an office we will need as per the standard 450 to 500 lux so this one this kind of luminaire and this kind of arrangement achieve the required lux level